I'm Malika Andrews, 47 days. That's how long it's been since Kevin Durant made his trade request to Nets owner Joe Sy. And since then, we've heard plenty of twists, plenty of turns. He wants to be in Phoenix. He wants to be in Miami. He's open to Philly. He's open to Boston. Toronto has interest. We've heard a lot. But then dead ends appeared, right? Scotty Barnes reportedly not on the table. DeAndre Ayton off the board after the Suns matched an offer sheet. The Nets, they can't trade for Bam Adebayo or Donovan Mitchell as long as Ben Simmons is on the roster. So our own Brian Windhorst on this very show said that Jalen Brown so far has been the biggest name actually offered in a package for KD, but that deal, it also hasn't been done, at least not yet. But wait, don't worry. There is more. He'd consider staying, but he wants Sean Marks and Steve Nash out. Like I said, it has been a long 47 days. And then after one executive reportedly told Mark Stein that Durant was, quote, more apt to retire than play again for Brooklyn, KD took to Twitter and he said this. I know most people will believe unnamed sources over me, but if there's anyone out there that'll listen, I don't plan on retiring anytime soon. This bleep is comical at this point. And what's unclear to me, everybody, is if that sentiment was more like hyperbole about how much Durant wants to be traded or what exactly it was. But what we know is how much Kevin Durant just loves to play and how dominant he still is. So Kevin, thank you for clearing that up. I really appreciate it. I also wonder, though, as we welcome in senior writer Brian Windhorst, thank you so much for hanging with us, Brian. It feels as though we've never been farther, in a sense, from an actual trade coming to fruition. Is that just my feeling? What do you make of this, Brian? Yeah, Malika, what's kind of developed over those 47 days is we now kind of have two different negotiations. One, of course, is with all of those teams interested in Kevin Durant and the Nets, and we just haven't seen significant traction in any of those deals. The Nets' asking price is very high, and the, their leverage for getting those teams uh, who are interested in offering so much just hasn't materialized. But the other negotiation that is now under, really, uh, you know, under, under um, you know, developing is between Durant and the Nets, hmm. that separate negotiation about what would it look like for him to come back. And that's what a big part of the discussion that he had with owner Joe Sy in London about 10, 11 days ago was, Joe Sy and the Nets believe they've got a really good team. They don't believe they have a good trade for Kevin Durant, and they want him to consider coming back. But Durant has very clearly made it uh, known that he doesn't want to play for the Nets under the current situation with the current coach and the current GM. So, Malika, you really have to ask yourself, what is the avenue? What is the path right. for Kevin Durant to move forward with the Nets? Because he's been told no on trade. He's been told no on firing Steve Nash. He's been told no on, on firing Sean Marks. So where do we go from here? And really, when we count the days, it'll be counting down to the start of training camp to see whether that divide can be solved if there's no trade and we face a holdout situation. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.